Hey, Mom, I'm going to the corner store to get some soda. Okay. Love you, too. <sighs> Man, I need to stop saying I'm so late. After all these years, I have found you. Where the hell am I? What do you want? Relax. How can I relax? I can't move! I have temporarily disabled your motor functions. What? Who are you? Please don't kill me. My parents can pay. Don't kill me. It's okay, Paul. I'm not gonna kill you. I just need your help. Paul Kitzinger. One month ago, you wowed scientists and physicists all across the world by sending in a hydrogen-3 isotope back in time. But you have no idea about half of the stuff you're going to do in your lifetime. In 2020, you created the quantum processor, revolutionizing computing. In 2029, you create immortality, changing human DNA. But you never mastered time travel. That is, until 2138. That's bullshit. 2138? I'd be over 130 years old. Like I said, you invented immortality. But I'm not finished. You think I was sent here by my own free will? I wasn't. I was forcibly set back. By you. Hold up, hold up. So, you're telling me that I'll... S er, will... Send you back in time. Why? 100 years is the richest man in the world can really change someone. As I was managing the data back at the lab, you pushed me into the machinery. See whether it would fry my brains out or not. And now, I was sent back into 2009. Okay, one, you're crazy. Two, my mom's gonna call the cops. And three, if you let me go now, I won't press charges. You're going to believe me, because I can prove it. <laughs> I assume this watch hasn't been invented yet. I also assume this time machine that I put together hasn't been invented yet. Never really got it to work. <laughs> so you're telling the truth then? Well, according to you, it took me over 100 years to make a time travel device. I don't know how I can help you. You have to help me. You will find a way. Okay, look. I'm only 17 years old. One. I sent three. Not five, not ten, but three atoms back in time. Three seconds. The human body has about 16 octillion atoms. And into the future, that's asking me to learn to paint the Mona Lisa when I just learned the simple color wheel in Art 1 class. I'm sorry, it's just impossible. I was hoping I wouldn't have to resort to this then. Resort to what? Ah! If you kill you right now, that means you will never exist in the future. And if you never exist in the future, that means you will never send me back in time. If that's true, then you wouldn't be here. If you were able to jump back to your time, then this wouldn't be happening. Because I wouldn't have been existing to send you back. Which means, but you're still here. Which means. That you split off into different timelines. There's no way you can get back from this. That, that can't be true. That, that can't be true. Oh God. 
And if you kill me, you might not even exist. I'm sorry, Paul. I'm, I'm so, so sorry, but just being away from the people that I love and... You're my only hope of getting back. You don't know what it's like being in a different timeline, out of place, out of time. I don't have anything left. I don't even know if I should help you. You just tried to kill me. Please, you have to help me. If you help me, the time machine is yours after I leave. Tempting. You'll be heralded as one of the greatest inventors in history if you take this up. You don't know what you're missing out on if you if you let me down. Fine, I'll help you. But only because I want to be famous. Okay. Do you still have that backup on your watch? I have a backup of it, but I just don't understand it. I don't know what to do with it. Load up on the computer and let me see. Are you familiar with how I did my time travel experiment? No, not exactly. I was a data manager, not a researcher. Every timeline has a unique quantum wave signature. But with this algorithm from your backup, we should be able to get the quantum wave signatures of any timeline. So can you do it? I'll need some items in a couple of months. Is it ready? I just gotta do some last minute calibrations and then we'll be good to go. Listen, Paul, what you're doing for me is beyond any thank you I can give. I want you to have this. Thank you. Okay, are we ready? Yes, it was nice knowing you, Cole, even though you tried to kidnap and kill me. Hey, well, you got me back in 2138. <laughs> it's ready. Okay. Get back. Hey, there you are. What took you so long? The shuttle's about to leave. Let's go. What happened to your watch? Oh, I left it back at the lab. <laughs>